we are going to look at reproduction. As we know, reproduction is the means by which organisms give rise to their younger ones, which is also known as offspring. Let's remind ourselves about what some of the things we know about reproduction. Reproduction is the means of giving rise to young ones by organisms. We have two types, asexual and sexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction only involves an individual as parent and does not involve fertilization. Examples, binary fission, budding, fragmentation, sporation, which means spore formation. Raising crops through asexual means is called vegetative propagation such as cutting, budding, stroke grafting, and cutting stroke layering. Sexual reproduction is the one that involves two opposite sexes as parents and the union of the nuclei of the male and the female gametes to form zygos stroke embryo. We can now look at some samples of questions based on reproduction. Let's look at the first example. Which of the following types of reproduction involves meiosis? A. Body B. Conjugation C. Sporation D. Binary fusion Body, as we find in the East, the develop, development of balls which fall off and become an individual. Sporation, as we find in muco, or the fungi, they produce pores which disperse and germinate to become individual. Binary fission, as we see in some protozoa, like amoeba, when the cell divides into two. But in case of conjugation, it involves formation of gametes and exchange of gametes. As we see, as we see in Paramecium and, and Pyrogyra. Therefore, this is a sexual reproductive method. B now is the answer to the question. In C, there will be formation of gametes which involve meiosis. Example two: Which of the following organisms cannot reproduce sexually? A. Paramecium B. Rhizopods C. Hydra D. Microbacterium tuberculosis Paramecium conjugates and it can also carry out binary fission so it can reproduce sexually. Rhizopods produce pores and at the same time conjugate therefore it can reproduce sexually. Hydra we know it to have uh, both ovary and tetis is uh, hermaphrodite. It can reproduce sexually. At the same time, it can still, it's, it's also reproduced through body. So it reproduces sexually and asexually. But D represents bacteria, a bacterium. And bacteria, all bacteria reproduce by binary fission. So our answer to question two is D. You cannot reproduce sexually. The instruction here is that you should use the information below to answer question 3. And these are the informations. The first one is that the IV of two strains of muco lie side by side. Two, protuberance is formed. Three, zygospore formed. And four, Gametangia fields. Example 3. Which of the following arrangements represents the correct sequence of procedures of sexual reproduction by MUCO? A. You have to fall back to the arrangement here. A. 1. Followed by 2. By 3. And finally 4. B, two first, 
followed by one step, uh, stage one, then stage three, and finally stage, stage four. C, stage one, followed by stage two, by stage four, and then stage three. D, stage one, followed by stage three, followed by stage four, and then stage one. Now, you just have to have the picture of the arrangement and the sequence, how it happened, before you can answer this question. The first stage is the two strings of muka lying side by side. The next one is protuberance formed. And then each of them form is gametangium, held by a suspensor. Later, the gametangia fused and their nuclei fused to form zygote. And the zygote become thickened, the wall become thickened for it to, to uh, be protected for a period of time. The protected zygote is zygospore. When we look at this arrangement now, step one is lying side by side. Step two, protuberance formed. Step four, the gametangia fused. Step and the final step, that's step three, uh, zygospore produced. So this C arrangement is the right sequence. So answer is C. Example four, which of these is an advantage? of sexual reproduction. A. It brings about offspring that are alike. B. It brings about variation among the offspring. C. It results in faster reproduction. And D. It gives rise to hermaphroditic organisms. Now, sexual reproduction involve recombination of genes and we know that recombination of genes brings about variation therefore a cannot answer the question it's not an advantage it's not an advantage b it brings about variation among the offspring it's correct let's look at c it results in faster reproduction no asexual reproduction is faster means of reproduction than sexual reproduction. And D, it gives rise to a hermaphroditic organism. That is not true. So answer is B. It brings about variations among the offspring. Example 5. The following structures are reproductive structures, stroke organs, except A. Archegonium B. Sporangium C. Anteridium D. Mycelium If you recall the life cycle of either fern or a moss, a, a bryophyte, you will see that the, the female structure for producing egg is archegonium. The male structure for producing anterizoids or fragmented sperms is anteridium. Then we see in a muco or fungi having sporangium for production of spores. So A is for uh, is a reproductive structure, B is reproductive structure, C is reproductive structure, D is vegetative part of a fungus. So, D is not reproductive function, but vegetative structure. So, answer to question 5 is D, is the exception.